What's up everybody, it's your boy Kenneth, Mr. Smellgood803. We're back with another video today. Now in today's video, I'm gonna introduce you to a fragrance that I hope is gonna help expand your fall winter fragrance collection by introducing you to something that's got a little bit of booze and a little bit of leather. So stay tuned. All right, so the fragrance that we're gonna be talking about today is coming to us from the house of Carolina Herrera. And this is CH Man Privé. Now I want you guys to notice the shape of the bottle. It's really unique and I think the marketing team did a great job with that because they've kind of modeled the fragrance bottle after a flask. And that's a very appropriate thing because the very top note that you have coming straight out of the gate with this fragrance is the whiskey. So, oh yeah, yeah. You get a light boozy fragrance at the very top, uh, but you've got grapefruit at the top as well. So you've got some citrus to brighten it up to give you a little bit of freshness. So it's just not coming out of the gate with a lot of heaviness. So you've got grapefruit at the top with the whiskey to give it a little freshness. And as it starts to dry down, let's go ahead and put some on skin here. Okay, yeah. So as you start transitioning and, and it starts to dry down on your skin, you're gonna transition into a nice lavender note in the mid. But in the base, this is where everything gets rounded out. Because you've got that leather and then you've got the wood notes that kind of combine it all and just makes it a great blend. So when I say whiskey, I'm not talking about just opening a bottle of uh, whiskey and just smelling it that way. Uh, when I talk about the whiskey note for this particular fragrance, imagine if you've got the whiskey barrel that the whiskey was distilled in and you poured all the whiskey out and you were able to catch the essence of the fragrance of what was left, how that whiskey combined with the wood. To me, that's what this fragrance represents, is that combination of the whiskey after it's been poured and it sat in that barrel. So to me, that's that combination of the whiskey and the wood accords that are, that's in this fragrance. The leather just comes in and it gives it uh, a masculine, a more heavier feel, uh, and it, it rounds it out a little bit more um, by giving it a little bit of warmth. So you've got that sweetness with the whiskey, uh, combining with that lavender and grapefruit, but that leather just comes in to kind of mellow it out and give it a little bit of warmth. Man, look, this is great. Date night, uh, you can wear it to the office all day. This is really one of those all day occasions, uh, just a great reach that you can pick up uh, at any point in time and wear it for the fall and winter seasons. Now, of course, I always say, where would you wanna wear? Where would you like? But just understand that if you're wearing a fragrance like this in more warmer climates, in a more warmer temperature, you're definitely going to want to pull back on the sprays because this fragrance can get a little annoying to your nose if it's not able to kind of breathe a little bit more with cooler air or cooler temperatures, okay? Now, I will say that this particular fragrance, there was a rumor that this fragrance was going to get reformulated some years ago, and this one came out in 2015. I do have a bottle that I picked up in 2016, and I can tell you right now, I put a big dent, as you can see, <laughs> in this bottle. So when I heard that there was gonna be a reformulation, I, I heard up and I tried to you know, get ahead of the curve, but I think the reformulation had already happened when I purchased this, when I purchased this in 2021. And the biggest difference between this batch and this one is gonna be the leather. The leather was much more pronounced, much more pungent, I guess is a better way to say it, uh, in this older batch. The newer batch has been mellowed out quite a bit, and it just really, to me, gives the whiskey note and the wood notes to do a better dance between each other without the leather cutting through too harshly. So, wonderful blend, great fragrance. Uh, you can still pick it up on discounters, readily available. But I will say, of course, the price has gone up because the popularity of this fragrance has gone up. And I think I did hear a little rumor about this one being discontinued, but from what I've been able to research, it's still readily available. So definitely try to check this one out if you can. CH Man Privé, great addition for your fall and winter lineup. I'm telling you, it's gonna be a great one. Gives you that cuddle buddy action. You know what I'm saying, fellas? That cuddle buddy action. 
<laughs> but anyway, that's our video for today. Once again, I thank everybody for coming and watching the videos. Make sure if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button, you know, and click that notification bell so you're notified for every time I put out a new video. Once again, it's your boy Kenneth, Mr. Smell Good 803. We're out. Peace.